Welcome to another episode of R&R. &R. I am your humble host, DKS3A. And last week, we talked about achievements that are really easy to get. And I saw some people with a little bit of confusion on them. Like, so a lot of games mix up easy achievements with hard achievements. I realized that. The achievements I'll talk about take absolutely no effort to get whatsoever, like pushing the start button or whatever like that. This week, we're going to talk about a lot of things, uh, something that a lot of people nowadays can tend to agree with, especially if you're an old school gamer, and that's the difficulty of games. Now, especially since, like, the PS3, 360, and even to some extent the three, uh, Xbox and the uh, PlayStation 2 and stuff like that came out, games have just gotten easier and easier to the point where a lot of games just hold your hand and guide you where you're supposed to go, no exploration. No, uh, it's like linear paths, all kinds of stuff like that, to the point where everything's just kind of guiding you where you're supposed to go, and, and the gameplay is really easy, the game is really easy. I mean, the graphics look good, but I've said it before and i said it again, graphics aren't anything. Graphics aren't everything a game makes. It's makes about gameplay and fun factor and all kinds of stuff, and a lot of games nowadays are really boring, a lot of them, because... The difficulty of the game is just way too easy. And some of these kids are like, nowadays, like, Oh my god, you should play this game, this game's really hard. And you should play this game, it's kind of a difficult game and all kind of stuff. They don't know difficult unless they play like Nintendo or Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, shit like that. Those are some difficult games. Castlevania, Ninja Turtles, Mega Man. Contra. Uh, yeah, it's, it's some of the older Final Fantasies. Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2 were really difficult games. Now what do they have? Call of Duty. Halo. Uh, I don't know. Call of, but a lot of the games that they have are first-person shooters. I mean, first-person shooters are just like all of the craze right now. Call of Duty, Halo, Battlefront. But, uh, a lot of the, and those, all those games were just basically almost the same kind of games. Really, really easy. Excuse me just for a moment. Very to try. Anyway. Uh. And they think these are, like, hard games. Decent, hard games. No, they're not. They're not hard. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But, games to, today are too fucking easy. I said, I grew up in the NES era. I was born in the 80s. I grew up with the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, old school Game Boy, uh, Nintendo 64. Those are some legit challenges. And a lot of the games didn't focus on graphics. They focused on the fun gameplay, difficulty, and all that stuff. There was no guide in your hand. A lot of the games, we didn't have the internet back way back in the day. If you wanted to figure out how to beat a game, you had to figure it out yourself. Nowadays, it's like, oh, I'm stuck here. Du -du -du -du. Internet. Uh, okay, that's how you do it. Now, back in the day, if you wanted to beat it, you had to figure it out yourself. Nowadays, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still some hard games that are out. Like, Dark Souls for the 360. Legit hard game. Uh, some, uh, uh, Dragon's Dogmas. Difficult. Uh, there's... A bunch of the Ninja Gaiden series that was hard back in the day. They're still hard now. But for the most part, games are just really, really, really too easy. You can't basically guide in your hand, say, okay, start off here, find a few enemies, we're going to end up over here. Cutscene. Okay, we're going to guide you over here. There's no sense of exploration. There's no sense of adventure. There's no sense of difficulty. There's no sense of anything. It's just, ooh, look at us. We're, the graphics look good. By us, the graphics look incredible. What a gameplay such, such lackluster. I don't know, it's difficulty of the game is so um, taboo nowadays. Uh, these kids just don't realize what we went through back in the day in the early stages of video gaming compared to now. I mean, if we had the internet accessible like they do now, for back in the day, even some of the most difficult games wouldn't be that difficult 
And it went uh, that, uh, that uh, but then again, that's what took the, uh, that's what made the games fun, difficult, and trying to figure out games only on the original Legend of Zelda. A lot of people didn't beat that game about until five or ten years after the game came out because f fully exploration, fully exploration, uh, non-linear. You have to choose your path. It was just a bunch of stuff you can do, and. Um, a lot of people didn't figure out where you're supposed to go. A lot of people didn't beat the game when it first came out. I was one of the few that did, but there was a lot of people that didn't, I couldn't figure out how to beat that game. And that's because it gave it a legit challenge. It was a difficult game. And we didn't have the internet to look it up like, okay, well, I'm, I can't find this dungeon. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, if you want to figure it out, if you want to find out that dungeon, you got to figure it out on your own. Too bad. Or get a friend who beat the game or somebody like that word of mouth. We didn't have internet access back in the day. I know I'm sounding like an old grumpy man. I'm a lot older than some of these kids, but I still play my games. I mean, but I don't know. These kids are just like, oh, these games are hard. I can't beat these. I can beat these. I can beat some of the games with my eyes closed, and one tie, hand tied behind my back, and shit like that. Now, uh, I don't know. It's they need to. If they want to know truly hard games, they gotta go back. They gotta go back to old school to figure that out. Alright, last week I asked them uh, which one was better, Golden Eye 007 or Perfect Dark. For me, 007. I remember all the little parties, we four player parties we used to have with the 007. Uh, double, yeah, double, 007, all the little parties that we had, Golden Gun fights, Pots and Mini Mine fights. Uh, that's me and, me, me and a couple of my best friends and all we talked about was 007. I played Perfect Dark and it's a great game. But yeah, 007 was my choice. We, uh, every, anybody who had 007, anybody, anytime I had a chance to play 007, that's what I played. This week, we're gonna ask which one is better, Soul Calibur or Tekken. Leave your comments down below. This has been another episode of R and R. I am your humble host, DKS3A, and I will see you next week. Yeah. Have a good day.